<laughs> Gotta get the mic a little bit better on that the next time. But thank you so much to the Franklin fans. Always enthusiastic, and uh, we appreciate you helping us out on the show. All right, time now to check in again with Fox 17's Dave Foster. Earlier, Dave, you showed us the great highlights from Siegel's big victory over Riverdale. What do you have for us now, buddy? Uh, well, I'll get to that. Are you okay? I just heard you yelling right there. I just want to make sure you're all right. Um, yeah, uh, Cane Ridge, they've been a nice story so far this season. Um, Ravens had never started a season 3-1, and one, and they'd never beaten Overton, their opponent tonight. Uh, first quarter of this one, first time that Cane Ridge had the ball, uh, they would get it going early. Quarterback Sherrod Corruptors handing off to Malik Burris. He's got some room. Nice gain, and Cane Ridge threatening. A few plays later... The Ravens would give it to Manny Cologne, who would bust his way in for a touchdown, and it was 6 uh, nothing after a missed extra point. Still in the first quarter, Corruptors this time would pass it. Tredante Hill would have it make a nice little move down the sidelines for a touchdown. It was 13 to nothing. Kane Ridge was on top. Overton finally would get something going later in the quarter, uh, punching it in here. But Kane Ridge gets that win tonight, 19 to 14. So they do move to four and one on the season with the victory. Best start ever. Once again, improving on their best start that they already had at three and one. And also, Paul, four wins equals their mark for the entire last season. They were four and six only halfway through the season. They already have as many wins, four, as they had the entire last year. A great little nugget there, Dave Foster. Congratulations to those guys, and thanks as always for the great highlights and great hustle tonight. One more before we go, and an interesting storyline here as well. For years, Craig Clayton coached at Franklin, but tonight he takes his Hillsboro squad into Williamson County to play his old team. Clayton back on the field where he roamed for so many years, and you know he wants a victory very badly. Did not end on the greatest of terms at Franklin. Well, here's a chance for Hillsborough to get some points on the board, but the Rebels with the block field goal right there, denying the Burroughs of those three points. But the Burroughs offense does get going a little bit later. Here's Porter Streeter on a key play, getting down deep into Franklin territory. No, it wasn't a fumble. Hillsborough still has possession of the football, and then Streeter does it again over the left side, and he'll get in for the touchdown. Showed you a lot of Hillsborough highlights there, two out of the three. But Franklin gets the victory, ruining Coach Clayton's return to his old school. 28-17 was that final. That wraps up our high school coverage for the night. If you missed any of the action, we'll have our highlights posted on fox17.com as soon as I get off the set. Up next, a look ahead to the college weekend. A slew of games to preview, none bigger than the Big Orange against the Florida Gators. Back with that after this.